gays and so on. Final question. You've described yourself, like I said, as a libertarian Marxist. Do you think capitalism is a fundamentally unstable system? Absolutely. And if so, okay, great. And if so, what comes after it? How do we get there? Ha! Huh. Well, what comes after it certainly uh, is going to be determined by technological change. That's Marx. You, know, you have a contradiction. More than, the, more than the class struggle. Well, the class struggle is uh, part of this. But the classes themselves are created by technological change. So if it wasn't for the steam engine, there would have been no proletariat. Yeah? And there would have been no class struggle. So now we have the second and third machine aid, uh, ages, and they are disrupting capitalism big time. So very soon, the corporation as we know it will be obsolete, independently of what the left does. So the, the, the big question is, given that we're going to have massive technological changes and a, 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 a brilliant increase in productivity, is this going to lead us towards a world in which we are, we humans, are the masters of the machines that we've created, or vice versa? And that will depend on, on the class struggle and politics. And until and unless the left manages to combine its uh, ideology of collective action and collective values with a program for, an, for, for embracing the disruptive, decentralizing new technologies, internet-based technologies, and 3D printers and all that, and bring the two th things together, then we have a dystopia facing us. If the left manages to organize itself in order to, m to participate, to, to play a very significant role in fashioning the technological future and the social relations of production, then we have a chance. Would it be fair to say then that your position is well of fully automated luxury communism? Star Trek. Okay. Thanks very much, Anis. Thank you. Cheers.